You might be asking yourself, why is it that my hair doesn't grow? Why is it my length more? Why is my hair falling out? Today, I will answer those questions. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're back here. First of all, before you do anything else, Please click on the subscribe button, the red button down there, and also click on the bell to get notified anytime I put a new video or upload a new video. Today, we'll be talking about why doesn't your hair grow? You might be asking yourself, why is it that my hair doesn't grow? Why is it my length more? Why is my hair falling out? Today, I will answer those questions. I might not be an expert in this, but the truth is that I have learned from my past mistake and my experiences in growing my natural hair. And I think I am one of the best persons to tell you what it is you're doing wrong with your hair. First thing is, how much do you touch and handle your hair? It's, I'm not saying don't touch your hair but make sure that um, you put it in a style that you wouldn't want to handle it as much. Don't touch your hair every single time and don't handle it too much because as you keep doing that, your hair keeps shedding and um, you keep losing a lot of hair. So that brings me to the next point, which is put your hair in a protective style. As you can see, I have the pop smoke braids on and you can do protective styles like sewings, like um, single braids, like, like cornrows, like simple cornrows that you can learn from um, YouTube. And um, I will be also bring in some tutorials to you guys also. Put your hair in a protective style. That will make it, that will make you not handle your hair as much. You can handle the, um, the, the extensions, but at least your hair is underneath that and you're not touching it. And the next point is how much are you moisturizing your hair? Do you forget to moisturize your hair? A lot of people get this wrong. First of all, how I moisturize my hair is by using my um, products. I use water, first of all. Water should always be the first product that you put on your hair. And um, it's very important because it adds to the nourishment of your hair and also to um, it makes it easy to handle. So I put water for, um, with my spray bottle. And if you don't have a spray bottle, that's fine. Just pour water in your hair, but don't put like don't pour too much, right? And then I use my cream. Usually I use my Cantu Shea Butter. And this is my cream because it is heavy and it actually like makes my hair softer and um, also makes it easier to detangle. And I also, and I also use my hair food. I did a live on Facebook and I showed this to um, the people that watch my live on Facebook. And um, yeah, I use this hair food because it adds vitamin E to my hair and it also has oil on it and something that I learned from YouTube a long time ago is that when you're moisturizing your hair you should use the luck method which is liquid oil and cream but I use the LCO because I always want to put oil last to um to seal in the, mo the moisture okay and I also use this new oil I also use this new oil that I got from um the store it is called the stimulating hair oil and all these will be in the description below if you want to get it for yourself because it has really helped my hair i'm going to show you a picture of my hair um right now that's underneath this braid and um yeah my hair has really seen a lot of growth in the past year more than it has ever seen before and I have been natural for three years, so that is saying something. Next one, how are you detangling your hair? People feel like this is, uh, like detangling your hair is just something that you should do when you want to like style your hair or when you want to, um, I don't know, do anything with your hair. But detangling your hair is really, the way you detangle, detangle your hair is really important because it lets you know how much hair you're losing. And now, let me show you how to detangle your hair. 
when you pick don't comb your all your hair at once you have to divide into sections okay so divide your hair into a little bit of section and then i'm um, holding your hand and put the comb from start the um combing from the tip of your hair and make sure that you're starting from the tip don't start from anywhere above the tip because as you start from the tip and you're working your way up it is easier for those for you to comb easily and for you not to lose a lot of hair no instruction i learned this from a um, barber actually because People come to him to cut their hair because they really lose so much hair. And he tells them that, okay, this is how you should take care of your hair. And he told me that th there's a way to detangle your hair. And you don't you don't start from the top, from the um, root, because then you're dragging your hair out, okay? So start from the tip and work your way up. Last but not least, are you dehydrated? Are you not drinking water? Are you not eating fruits? Okay, guys, this is really important. So, usually, I always drink water anytime I finish the meal or I'm thirsty or um, I just, you know, feel like taking water. But that is not the case. You should drink water at least every hour or every two hours in a day. It is very important to drink water because your water not only nourishes your hair, it nourishes your body. And I learned this from somebody also from YouTube that what, whatever is inside will radiate outside. And so if you're not nourishing yourself, if you're not getting enough water, if you're not eating good food, eating good fruits, then how is your body supposed to grow and how is it supposed to show that you're actually healthy? You know what I mean? Your hair shows that. Your hair shows how healthy you are and how you take care of yourself. Forget about other people, but think about yourself. It's not good for your body, for your health. You need to hydrate. You need to eat good food, healthy food, vegetables, fruits mostly. And you will see the result in like two months like there's no even like two ways about it these are like the most important things that you should be doing now back to moisturizing your hair i've had questions like do you moisturize your hair every day or like guys you moisturize your hair whenever you feel like it's dry or whenever your hair is out or whenever you want to style it there are a lot of things for you to do and I, even if i'm not an expert i've so I'm talking about this by experience and by what I have seen with my own hair. And now everything that I do will not work, might not work for you, but you can at least try and like see what works best for you, you know, but definitely eating healthy, drinking water, um, more than you do right now is very important. So in this way, your hair will grow faster and you will, you will enjoy what it is to be natural. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I am glad you tuned in to watch. My name is Faber and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share with your friends, like, comment, and just, you know, share. I don't know, I've said that before. And also, um, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye.